The adjustment brush tool in Photoshop beta seems to have a lot of people divided. Some people find it completely redundant, while others couldn't be more excited about its addition to the program. So let's discuss what this tool is, how it fits in your workflow, and whether or not it's actually going to be useful going forward. Now, there are tons of people showing how the adjustment brush tool works, but for some, it might be confusing what this feature is even replacing. Essentially, this tool simplifies the selective adjustment process in Photoshop with a workflow that feels a lot like masking in Lightroom. To better understand how different it is, let me give you an example of creating a selective adjustment in the current version of Photoshop versus in Photoshop beta. For selective adjustments in the current version of Photoshop, you would first need to create a new adjustment layer from the adjustment panel or from the layers panel. Assuming you would want to isolate this adjustment to a small area of your photo, you would then click on that adjustment layer mask and invert it to be invisible. To add back visibility, you would then select your brush tool, set your foreground color to white, choose your brush settings and paint visibility on the adjustment layer mask by just painting on your canvas. This process isn't necessarily hard, but it does require a fair number of steps. And if you're new to Photoshop, it's pretty easy to get confused here. But now repeating this process with the adjustment brush tool in Photoshop beta, things are a lot easier. Selecting the adjustment brush within the brush tools in Photoshop beta, you first need to choose the type of adjustment you want to create. With your adjustment chosen, you simply need to paint wherever you want that adjustment to apply. Without messing around with inverting masks, selecting foreground colors, or making sure that the right layers or masks are selected, this process is a lot more streamlined. So to answer the question of what is this tool replacing, it doesn't necessarily replace anything. It's just making the act of selective adjustments much quicker and more beginner friendly in Photoshop. So with this difference in mind, let's go through a quick example of using using the selective adjustment brush to dodge and burn a landscape photo so you can better see the workflow in action. To select the adjustment brush, I'll just go to the brush tool and then click on that to reveal the flyout menu and it will be nested within those tools. Then I'll go and choose an adjustment. In this case for dodging and burning, I'll just use a curves adjustment layer. Clicking on curves, I'll now go to the brush settings and just make sure I have a hardness of 0%. With the add to option enabled, opacity and flow at 100%, I'll just go and paint around the areas that I would like to adjust. It applies a default adjustment in this case, but I'll just click on the reset option and then click and drag down in the midtones and then darken these shadows a little bit as well. I'll refine this so that it's a little bit less intense. Now I can just continue to paint anywhere that I would like to darken or apply this particular adjustment because I have the add to option enabled within the contextual taskbar while my adjustment brush is enabled. I'll just paint around the different areas that I would like to darken in this photo. Now I'd like to add a slightly less intense version of this same adjustment. So I'll go to the options bar and I'll bring the brush opacity down to something around 30%. Now I can continue to paint over areas to darken with a less intense darkening adjustment. All of this is still applied to the same layer mask. With that adjustment complete, I'll add a new curves adjustment layer by going to the add new adjustment button while the adjustment brush is selected. I'll then go and choose the curves adjustment layer. This will create a brand new curves adjustment and it saves us from having to go into the layers panel or the adjustments panel to go and create a new adjustment layer. From there, same settings as before, but I'll set my brush opacity to 100%. I'll reset this adjustment and then add a slight brightening of my own like so. With the add to option enabled, meaning I'm going to add visibility to this layer mask, I can now paint over anywhere that I would like to brighten in this particular case. Now to make this adjustment less intense, I'll go to the opacity slider, bring this down to around 50% in this case, and then just paint over some other areas that I would like to add some slight brightening adjustments too. If there are any areas that you're not happy with when you're using the adjustment brush, you can easily subtract from your selective adjustments by selecting the subtract from brush option within the contextual taskbar. You can also do this up in the options bar, but essentially what this is doing is setting your foreground color to black, which means in the world of layer masks, you're simply subtracting visibility from that particular mask. 
So with the subtract from option enabled, I can now just paint over anywhere that I want to remove from that adjustment with my current brush settings. I'll bring that opacity to 100% and just paint over here again to further reduce those selective adjustments. Now I'd like to add one final color grading adjustment and I'll do this really easily within the adjustment brush settings. Again, going to the add new adjustment option, I'll go up here to color balance. Since the layer mask is invisible by default, I can now just go and click on these three dots and go to invert mask. There's some default settings that were already enabled, so I'll just reset those and now quickly add some color grading adjustments of my own to increase the richness of this sunset. With that complete, we can look at our before and our after using three different adjustment layers to darken, lighten, and then add some nice color adjustments to this image, all while only using the adjustment brush tool. We didn't have to go into the adjustments panel. We didn't really have to click on any layer masks ourselves. We could do pretty much all of this work while our adjustment brush tool was selected. So hopefully this example gives you an idea of how much time you can save while you're using this tool. So now the final question that remains is who is this tool actually going to be helpful for? As someone who has been using Photoshop for a long time, I'm pretty set in my current workflow of using layer masks, but I can see how this tool will save me some time. However, the person I see this tool benefiting the most is a beginner who is just getting into Photoshop. Because the adjustment brush has way less to think about, it does a great job to lower the barrier to entry for selective adjustments in Photoshop. It's really just making the entire program more accessible for beginners to enjoy Enjoy and create new things which I am all for. But ultimately, I think that this tool is a fantastic addition for pretty much everyone using the program. Now, if you want to try this tool for yourself, be sure to download a copy of Photoshop Beta that I'll leave a link for in the description below. And while you're scrolling down there, make sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think of the adjustment brush tool in Photoshop Beta. Do you agree with my thoughts or do you passionately hate the tool? I would love to hear what you think about it below. And with that, I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.